Thursday night in Columbia, the eighth-ranked South Carolina Gamecocks remained unbeaten as they held off a feisty LSU squad 3-1 to one. alongside Nancy Goffey. I'm Brad Muller. Terrific match. You see the scoring here for South Carolina. McCaskill started it, but uh, that score maybe not indicative of how this match was really played. Gamecocks got a couple of late goals, but it was some great de quality defense by both teams. Um, absolutely, especially LSU. I feel like uh, Carolina, South Carolina, they are counting their lucky stars because there's a few opportunities where Bauckham could have scored a, a game winner and changed the game. However, uh, a few did get through. Drennan did a great job of, of cutting in and then Groff on the PK. Terrific first half. It was nodded at one as we take a look at the highlights. South Carolina has a habit of scoring early, and this is a good person to do it. Savannah McCaskill, an SEC leading at 10th goal of the season to start the scoring as she beats the goalkeeper, Caroline Brockmeyer. But then Gamecocks looking good early. You knew LSU was going to come back. They played well as of late, and Summer Clark's a good one as well. The veteran got behind the defense here and had a almost uncontested look at the goal here, slipping past South Carolina defense for just her second goal of the season. And Krasowski did the best she could there. But Summer Clark just she showed such composure on that finish. We were nodded at one at halftime, and then in the second half, Gamecocks finally start the scoring again. It was Chelsea Drennan. She's one assist away from the career lead, but she can score <laughs> goals as well for South Carolina. That put the Gamecocks up two to one. Her fifth goal of the season, but then a miscue here by LSU. The foul in the box on Savannah McCaskill. That would set up a PK, and Sophie Groff, the senior, would take it. And she beat Brockmeyer to give South Carolina an insurmountable three to one advantage. And the Gamecocks remain unbeaten on the season now at 9-0-1, 3-0 in SEC play. LSU drops to six and five and one and two. For Nancy Goffey, I'm Brad Muller. <laughs>